that'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Got a hand on it. From deep, it's tipped. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Oliver. Three-pointer. Wow, that's good. Their guards have carried the offensive load. With the way they've performed, they've got the green light to shoot whenever there's an opening. It's White with a drive. And rejected. Pass to Money. Puts up a three. And the basket by Oliver. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. On the right side. To stop the run. And he lays it up and in. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. White against White. Pass to Flash. From deep three-point range. The Knicks with the rebound. Yeah, they'll be trying to redeem themselves against this team, having just lost to them in the NBA Finals. They're running. The finish! And he caps off the break with a monster slam! Justin White. And you love to see the aggressiveness. Using the height advantage to hammer it home. The Knicks have gone three of five shooting so far. A nice shot from the wing. He's got six. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Here's White. Ooh, powered down with both hands. It's fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Number Boy, nine. it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. Pass to Oliver to the left side wing. Now White. Here's Flash. He drops it from range. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's the machine. And there's the lob. Here's Flash. He's got six. It's White with the... Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Outside White. Tipped. Wide open. And it's New York with another. He still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. He's gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. to the wing, right side. Here's Goose. Trains the triple. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. New York trailing. Pass to Moore. It's deflected. Here's Flash. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Moore. Knocks down the triple. Opportunistic basketball. Gets a great look at the three in transition. Gone four or five from distance here in the two first quarter. In the first two minutes. Pass to Oliver. And now the Knicks on the break. Oh, great finish as he gets bumped on his way up. He'll go to the line to try to tack on one more. team foul. And a look at how the hustle Long game has been going for the Knicks. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Right wing. White against White. Just five on the clock. Pass to Goose. 
Well, that makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Jackson, left side. It's tipped. He blocks it again. White against White. There's the block. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by White. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. We've got 108 left in the first. Pass to Che. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Again. I mean, just weak fast break defense. Knicks foul. Jackson. First personal foul. First team foul. Fifty-five seconds left in the first. From seven. Perfect night so far. Two for two. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Fires the three. And again, New York with the triple. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. White against White. It's White with a drive. Oh, something. Oh, man. Just, just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? The Knicks with the lead. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's White. And so far in this one, two for four. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Here's Oliver. Pass to Goose. Right side White. Here's Flash. Sinks it from distance. Nine points in the game. It's the end of the first with a tie game here. And already these offenses are clicking along. After this break. Get ready for the Deer Squad. Get ready for the Deer Squad. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. So on the floor for the Knicks. We've got Jackson, and it's Insanity in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Outside White. He'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. All right, we're putting you on the spot here, guys. Who do you think is the best head coach in the NBA? Boy, you're trying to get me into trouble, B.A. I think most people are going to answer sort of old school pop because of the number of championships. I'm going to take it in a different direction and say one of the guys that, that captivates me, whether he's loaded with stars or whether he's trying to grind it out, that would be Eric Spolstra. He's got the ability to X and O with the best of them, and I think he manages people as well as anyone I've seen. Launches it, and the Knicks, another three. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. There's the triple. Knocks it down Justin. from distance. Three points. And it's a five-point New York lead. Yeah, he's really giving up size in that matchup. But on the perimeter, he can find the room he needs. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. Long Beach foul. Early. First personal foul. Second team foul. And here in the second with about a minute and a half going by. Here's the three. Oh, and he can't make that one. Two for three now. His first miss. Here's Oliver. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Now that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. 
New York has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Now a timeout called by New York. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And the three-point contest is one of the highlights of All-Star Weekend. Here are some of the contenders who have a shot to compete in the event. And perhaps that list changes a little between now and All-Star Weekend, but I would have no problems if those guys end up competing. A few players ahead of him in voting, but if he can hold on to his number five spot, he'll be in the three-point contest. He's a guy you need to have there. I'm pretty sure he'll be competing All-Star Weekend, and he's got a shot to win it all. And we'll keep you posted as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. But that's our current list for the three-point contest. It's going to be a fantastic competition. We've got an endless supply of shooters in this league, and that contest will be heated. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. He wasn't quite as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter, but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line. Tipped away, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. So it's the home team now. Oliver gets the three to fall. Give him eight points now. Well, this is a shot he hits with regularity. Defense trying to close, just not good enough. The ball's knocked loose. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Third personal foul, fourth team foul. All right, now we have a moment. Here are the most Shooting efficient from teams from range One. over the past yes. month. In third, the Knicks. And I love the way both teams are shooting the three ball. They're shooting it with conviction, and it shows up in the numbers. And the second free throw is good. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Here's Flash. And that's good from 17 feet. And the chess match continues. Seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. Pass to White. Jackson outside. From deep. Fires yes. in the triple. Jackson's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Such a reliable threat from range. You think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Here's Goose. He's got five. Got it. White with it. Uses the glass to finish the layup. White's got ten points in the quarter. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. White with the steal. White with the steal. Pass to Goose. Here's Oliver. Outside White. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, he drills it from deep. Well, two trays now in the second quarter after he hit one in the first. Fires the three. Money grabs the miss. For Long Beach, they've gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. Up top, White. He's got 14. He buries it from three. Four three. Nine points in the game. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. Pass to Goose. Back to White. Here's Goose. Shot clock at five. Stolen by Jackson. Let's it go from 11. And it's New York scoring again. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? They set a pick. Pass to Goose. Takes one from 10 feet. And he makes it. You gotta fight hard to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Deflected! It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Back to White. This one for three. Hits a three-pointer. White's got nine. White! 146 left to play in the first half. On the take. 
is insanity. And they waste no time getting those three points back. And the Knicks lead by two. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here we go. Here's Goose. And he tears it home with authority. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. New York has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. The kick out to White. Back to Jackson. From deep. Connects from downtown. Jackson's got eight points in the quarter. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. White for three. And count it. Now five for seven. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense. Oh! oh. 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 Number 30. Facing a huge size disadvantage, he goes fearless to the rack. Great athleticism and body control. Pass to Flash. Here's Oliver. And the three-pointer goes. He's got 14. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. White. Got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Here's Insanity. And again, and New York three. with the triple. Three points. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful. And because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Up one. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. Great fight we're seeing from both these guys. Each one trying to pull his team across the finish line. You know they love this kind of a challenge. Their passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as individuals. They've got to repeat that kind of ball movement in the second half. That'll be our show. On to the third quarter we go. <laughs> Ernie with the flow, making those rhymes as he throws, sounding like a pro. Oh, you didn't know? You must have been slow. I didn't mean to rhyme, not like Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, oh drop Ernie. the mic! Drop the mic! We quit. We quit. Broadcast is over. <laughs> And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. And it's White in it to one. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. And for New York. Here's more. Got a hand on it. Here's the break. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. New York ball. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. And they've got the top spot of the conference. A testament to their hard work all year long. Here's White. He's got 16. Knocks it loose. That one's all for him. Six for 11 now. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Outside White. Pass to Money. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. One and the foul. three is good, One and the foul. foul. This could turn into a four-point play. And he keeps Four. his composure and drains it through contact. Chance for a four-point play. A tight one here in New York City. 
Over to the left wing. Here's Oliver. Outside White. Here's Flash. He's got 18. Five on the clock. Shoots over White. Nails it. He's now six for eight for the floor. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Here's Moore. Knocks down a step back J. Moore's got six here in the quarter. Nice move to set up the jumper. <laughs> that was pretty. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. There's the AT&T 5G slam can. Capturing the moment. Out to the right wing. Back to White. Pass to Moore. The 11-footer. And the Knicks Moore. getting another bucket right there. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. White against White. Here's Oliver. Now here's White. Here's Flash. Give him 20. Drops in the three. He's got 17. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Jim. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And the Knicks lead by one. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. New York has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Moore. White with the steal. Here's the break. Here's money. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. Next ball. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for him. Unfortunately, we've seen his ability as a rebounder take a back seat these past few seasons. And I'd like to see him refocus on that element of his game. You can never have enough rebounds, in my opinion. Throws it up high. Out of bounds. In the next ball as New York keeps Nick's possession. Ball. On Saturday, and then on Monday, they'll be facing Paul George and the San Antonio Spurs. And you know, for that matchup with the Grizzlies, it's going to be a good challenge for them. Even though they expect to win, it could probably go either way, depending on how well they play. Here's White. Again, the Knicks. Good for two more. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Nifty move. And the layup is up and in. 19 points in the game. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Shot is good off the back rim and in. He's got 16. You know, he had room to operate, but added a little fade on that shot just for good measure. And he comes up That's with a bucket. He had no answer defensively inside. Here's the machine. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks. New York will retain possession. Grant's checked in for New York. Jackson comes in for White. Grant. Jackson. And the Knicks with the possession here. Now a timeout call by New York. a rundown of the teams that have not wasted their opportunities at the line in the last month. New York, number one. Neither team's been missing from the foul line. It's a coach's dream to convert those freebies. Long range from the inbound. Counted from distance. 
Oh, He's having a good night from the foul. field. Now, I know the defense is really keen in on him, but they need him involved if they're going to pull this out. For Long Beach, they've gotten 8 of 9 to fall. Terrific offense so far in this third quarter. Here's Oliver. Give him 23. Sinks that oh. one from the post. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Driving inside, and he takes that one up and powers it through. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Out to the right wing. Pass to Goose. The three. And the basket by Oliver. 28 points for him. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Now Jackson. And here's Grant from the arc. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist with that last one. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Taking pride and making plays. White with the steal. And here comes the break. Another steal. And they're running. Up the floor. Oh! oh and he Number dunks nine. it down. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Flash nails it from beyond the arc. He's hitting everything from deep, just flat out torching this defense. Pass to the machine, takes a three, and again, New York with the triple. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. On target from range. He got loose from downtown the first half, now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. There's Jackson with the three. The long distance three is Perry. Jackson's got 11. Stolen by Jackson. From deep three-point range. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. It's the Knicks. Up three. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four. Next. It's the fourth quarter. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. The Knicks with the lead. And it's Flash in at the two-guard spot. Pass to Moore. Jackson outside. Over to the wing. Inside. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. <laughs> they have a never-give-up attitude. No doubt keeping it very close. They're going to have to step up even more to get over the hump here. Oliver. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. From 11 feet away, the rebound by Oliver. Outside White. Knicks foul. Kim. First personal foul. And we've got First to see that sensational foul. mobile one block again. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Here's Goose. Sinks the tray. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Here's the pass break. Here's Oliver. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. And that could really be the game-changing moment. I agree. What a turn of events. If anyone wants to know where the momentum turned, that may have been it right there. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. White, he's checked in for New York. For Long Beach, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. 
Pass to Flash. Knocks down the long chain. He's got 26. Oh, that's a clutch shot by a big time shooter. And where's the D? It's time for T. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Knicks coach was going over with his guys. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And they get it. Deflected! And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Shot clock at six. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Let's get the three ball to go. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Oh, it's stolen away. White against White. It's tipped. Pass to Goose. Tipped. Here's the machine. He's guarded by White. Oh. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. From deep. Money grabs the miss. Gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Oliver. Into the lane. Tipped. Outside White, the 15-footer. He squares up and sinks it. And now it's a four-point Nick lead. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for New York. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. Hits the trifecta. If you want to disrupt his rhythm, you have to close out harder than that. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Takes the three, and a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. <laughs> Good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control. That one's off. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. To the middle. Here's money. It's deflected. Right wing. With the crossover. And that's yeah. basket number that's nine for him. Team. He's nine for ten. Nine. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all defending the triple. That's three in a row. And with plenty of time left, that's his fourth foul. He needs to stay cognizant of that moving forward. And here's White. The three ball. Nails it from three. White's got seven now in this quarter. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Here's White. And right through it goes! The Knicks have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Back to White. Down low. And it's flushed down! A nice jam! There you go! He's a monster at the rim! So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Goose. And again, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. I mean, keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammates, incredible. Hey, they really needed that assist. Big time move inside. Has the ability to score against size, and those were crucial. Here's the machine. Oh, wow. hey, how about that? Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. 
I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Money with the bucket. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Pass to White. Here's the machine. And having another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. To the inside. And Goose pulls it down. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. To take the lead. Sends it home from three-point land. Gives him 23. A huge shot. His three-point shooting has been outstanding tonight. Yeah, he's done more work outside the arc than inside. And that's not going to change now. They'll ride his long-range game all the way to the end of this one. This arrow's been trending up as of late. And he's been magnificent tonight. Out to the wing. Pass to flash. Cash! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down on the pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Here's White. Here's Oliver. Yet another oh. assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. He's doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. And he's going for the oop here. Yeah. And an intentional foul right yeah. there. Second personal foul. Third team foul. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this yeah. one. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Fourth team foul. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. 62 at the line. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. And make some noise for T-shirt time! Get ready for the Deer Squad! 26 seconds left in the final quarter. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that. Good on the first. And that trims the lead to six. Number nine. And he makes both free throws. It's intercepted. First clean look they have. I mean, they just have to take it. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. So he gets them both. And it's a five-point game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. If you try something like that, you better be sure to complete it. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, it's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. And so he drops them both. And it's a seven-point game. From deep three-point range, that shot is off. Outside White. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. This one was in the 